guys, this is Hang guys, and in today's video we are going to be putting stuff in the microwave that you should not. And that's a gaming console from 1980s. Uh, we bought it from for $15, I guess. Uh, the main point is that we want to put it into a microwave, obviously, and see how for how long it uh, lasts with the running game on in the microwave. All right, let's put the game on and close the doomsday machine. Oh. All right, so it turned off instantly. <laughs> Did you see that? It's already smoking. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't continue. That's 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 too dangerous for us. I just look at look what happened to the screen. It's uh, it's cracked. Uh, I don't think it's gonna turn on ever again. Uh, it won't. It won't. It won't. Yeah, it's it's broken. <laughs> so the the console was there for like ten seconds or under that, and already on the fifth seconds you could see. Uh, the fl uh, fumes coming out of the of this uh, uh, piece. So, uh, right, and uh, the results were the following because of the I'm not pretty sure, and you can correct me in the comments uh, because of the metal uh, inside the motherboard. So we were curious what happens to the bare uh, motherboard inside the microwave. What makes me a good demo man? <laughs> and that was a pretty exciting experiment and let's move on to the next one. So I just got a good idea. What happens to the lamp if we put it in, in the microwave? Uh, will it glow? Will it shine? Or will it blow up? Let's see. <laughs> Whoa! That's what that was cool. Oh. Yeah, so you can see an intense light. Yeah, it's getting fire. Now it's smoking. That's that's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, that's pretty much that left shovel from the lamp. Uh, I did it because it caught fire, uh, and probably the fire could have uh, destroyed the microwave. Yes, yes. So we have uh, bought another lamp, uh, which uh, works on the LED technology, uh, which does not use any gases inside the bulb itself, so let's test it. Also, that's the LED lamp. Let's see what happens. Right, and the lamp started to catch Fumes. Uh, yeah, a little lightning is coming out. The same thing's not happening to this one as, as it did to the last lamp. This is surviving much better. Yes, yes, but uh, the, the fumes are. The, the amount of the fumes oh, are pretty oh, insane. Oh, 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 it's, 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 the lamp also caught fire and we deployed, yeah, it, deployed it from the microwave. Uh, uh, the, the smell is pretty insane, uh, well, not unbearable, but pretty insane, insane. all the Mimi me, me and the cameraman are, are covering their noses, I can stand with this. So we didn't get uh, the same results uh, as with the regular lamp, uh, but yeah, that was pretty interesting to watch also. Alright, that's a gallium from previous video, uh, it's now in a solid state, and let's see what happens to it if we put it for one minute into a microwave. <laughs> right, and we were so scared, so we stopped the micro and let's see what happens to the metal. So as you saw, the gallium uh, really like it, it looked like it was thundering inside the microwave. We saw some purple lightning, and as you can see, some of the metal has melted. And surprisingly, it's not hot at all. Like I can touch touch this without any problem. It's not hot at all. Uh, so that's that is also su surprising. These are glow sticks, and I can assure you, these are gonna look very cool inside. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put one inside without breaking it. And we're gonna keep the whole thing intact and see if, if there's gonna be anything uh, interesting or not. Let's set a one minute timer and see what happens. 
<laughs> oh, something, something's on the front. Yeah, so we know. see the, we can see the glowing liquid. Yeah, it's starting to leak, and uh, that's because the microwave is heating the liquid inside the stick. Nothing that exciting happened. Uh, it leaked a little bit, but that's pretty much it. So let's just see what happens if you break it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's. That's cool. That's amazing. Just yeah. look how intense. What an intense uh, light is so there. Light off. Yeah, that's really cool. That looks like a kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, super. One watch out. I have an idea. Let's put them all into a microwave and see what happens. Right. Let's now break them all. Let's see what happens. And already now we can see that they're starting to glow even better than previously. With every second the glow intensifies. <laughs> Guys, I think we'll be needing a new microwave. <laughs> Alright, almost five minutes have passed and we decided to turn it off because there is Nothing happening. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the smell. Right, guys. Uh, at the end of the experiment, we can see that uh, somewhere in the middle of the experiment, they started to glow, the glow very intensely, but then the glowing started to, yeah, to dim a little bit. So now we can see that there is still some remainings. Right, um, I think we'll clean this a little bit and proceed to the next experiment. Next up is a bag of Doritos. Let's put them in and see if they, taste the same, they still stay the same after being in the microwave. Uh, I think the bag is about to catch fire. There's a lot of smoke coming. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on fire. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's cool. This is fine. <gasps> oh, the smoke is coming out. Yeah. I didn't expect that we are gonna use this guy for now, but <laughs> let's hope for the best. Ew. <laughs> it looks so nasty. What? Uh, the package is melted. I can, I can smell like melted Doritos. That's yeah. cheesy. Now let's go ahead and taste this. Cheers, I guess. They taste pretty much the same. I mean, the back looks like it's from Chernobyl, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, from 1 to 10. Of course, 10. That's the readers. What do you expect? Thank you for watching. Give us some feedback on the comments. And see you later. later.